Hello everyone, I hope you all must be doing good and great. Welcome to Tech Infomania. Today's uh, video is about how to flash a customer recovery on Galaxy J J7 2016 model that is uh, having an Exynos chipset and uh, flashing a customer recovery on Galaxy J7 2016 is a little tricky way and uh, if you having a G7 2016 model and you want to flash a customer recovery either for uh, routing or further you want to flash a custom ROM then follow me. So first thing first switch on your set and go in your settings then go to the last section about phone click on it and then go to software info and click the build number for seven times one two three four five six seven and uh, your developer options will be turned on go back to settings and at the end of settings you will see the developer options click on it go inside and turn on the OEM unlocking enable it and also turn on the USB debugging click OK go back after turning on the both options and uh, switch off your set you will have to boot your set in audit mode later but before doing that you will need to download few applications so if you having already Samsung USB Android drivers install in your Windows and don't need to re-download it again and if you did not having one then please download it and install it second file will be the Odin file obviously with that we will flash the customer recovery on Galaxy J7 download this Odin unzip it and save it in separate folder and third file the obviously recovery file for Exynos J7 2016 Go to the primary America section and download either last latest latest one or the 3.1.1. I download these three recovery files, but I will flash 3.1.1. So when you download is complete, then go to that uh, folder where you saved all the files and uh, click on the Odin file. Double click it, open the Odin and uh, click then the AP section and go to that folder where you have saved your recovery file and select the recovery file and now your Odin is ready to flash a custom recovery on your Galaxy J7 but before going further please go to options and click the uncheck the auto reboot if you must uncheck the auto reboot if you did not did that then your recovery will not going to flash now you have to boot your set in Odin mode for Odin mode press the uh, volume down key and press uh, home key and keep pressing it and switch on your device when you switch on your device you're gonna see a warning screen press the volume up key and your set will be booted up in Odin mode now you will have to connect the cable and use a good quality of cable. My other side of cable is already connected to with my laptop. And when you connect your G7 2016, your Odin will show that your set is connected. And you will have to press the star option. But before doing that, just make it show that you have unchecked the auto reboot options. Now click start, your recovery will start flashing and your Odin when show pass message it means that your recovery is being flashed click the reset click the X and exit the Odin and now you will have to remove your battery from your Galaxy G7 without switching off the set Now insert the battery back in your Galaxy G7.
Now you will have to boot your G7 into recovery for booting into recovery. Press the volume up key along with the home key. Keep pressing it and uh, switch on your device. And when you see a Samsung logo, just release the power key only. Do not release the other keys. And when you see a recovery screen, release all the rest keys. As I mentioned before that, uh, before flashing recovery, please save all your data, whatever you having in your internal storage, because this recovery needs to format everything. Go to wipe section and uh, you will go, you will have to go and format the data and uh, save all your data because it will format your internal storage and as well as your data. When you go in the format data, you will have to type Y E S yes and then press or click the right arrow key. And you can see that all the red lines, that is the error why we just format the data. Now you will have to wipe, go to wipe section, just uh, do the factory reset, go back and you will need to boot your recovery now. Go into boot section, click the recovery and do not install click on do not install now you will have to boot your set into recovery back and when your recovery boots up now you just swipe and go to wipe section and do the factory reset and now you can see no red lines so that was the proper way to flash our recovery on your galaxy j7 now just uh, doing Further things before this, uh, make a backup of your stock ROM or whatever you having on your G7. So if you having like if you want to flash a custom ROM further and something went wrong, so you can restore your backup again. Thank you for watching my video. Take a good care of yourself. See you, Tata.